a Shiba Inu ETF was just created? Well, sort of. Plus, Robinhood came in with great numbers, especially in crypto. What will this mean for brokers, exchanges going forward? And President Biden said he was going to veto a law that could be pro-crypto. So is he actually anti-crypto? We'll talk about that as well. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button and let's do the Shiba Shake. So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0.402244, down about 2%. Uh, the price had come up a little bit now we're seeing the crypto market sell off it's been one of these days yom asal yom basal one day honey one day onion today is an onion day right it's been you know up a little bit down a little bit up a little bit down a little bit you know it's one of these days where you just want to take your phone and throw it at the wall but don't do that right? no refunds <laughs> unless you want to get a new phone and then you know it's an excuse but um very interesting tricky day here today people are probably getting liquidated you know on the way up and on the way down so just be very careful out there if you are day trading if you are leverage trading of course if you're interested in leverage trading our partner margex will give you that opportunity no kyc uh link is in the description down below please trade responsibly i'll get a little bit commission so thank you for that the big news of the day right in the meme world um is that a you could call it um an etf potential okay so what i mean by an etf potential for shiba inu bitcoin etf issuer vanek launches meme coin index including doge shiba inu and four more meme coins right so basically uh it's going to be uh 30 percent doge 28 percent shiba inu 14 pepe 13 dog with hat floki and bonk six percent so basically the top six uh meme coins now from what i understand here and maybe someone in the comment section will um, com um correct me i went to the website here and it says learn how to license the index so from what i understand an index is you know like the you know s p 500 index right it's just a bunch of companies that is aggregated into one value, right? Uh, and that is the value that is displayed. Now, of course, the stock market is much more complex and the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and the Dow, they will have ETFs built on them, right? There is futures that you can trade on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, but options, for example, you can only trade on their ETFs. Maybe I'm talking a little bit high level to people that are a little bit less knowledgeable in the stock market. But from what I understand, an index in this situation is just tracking the value of these meme coins. <clears throat> and maybe someone will want to license this value in the future and create products from it. So the question is, what would the products be, right? Um, doesn't say here, right? Uh, will this, you know, be something that will be able to potentially turn into an ETF if they decide to do that in the future? So from what I'm understanding, it's just um, a index. So it's just tracking the prices, but that could lead to potential ETFs in the future if the SEC will allow this. Right. So this is like a first, a first of a first step, right? In, in order to get into that value. Actually, this is something that I have been asking for for a while. Like this is when I thought about ETFs for the crypto market, this is what I wanted, right? Because for example, let's say you want to get meme coin exposure, but you don't want to buy all the meme coins out there, right? You don't want to do that. And you know, it's too much to, to, to go like, the same reason why you buy an ETF, right? So let's say you buy the semiconductor ETF or you buy the uh, AI ETF, right? Same, same thing here, 
right? You would buy, if you want meme coins, if you want AI coins, if you want, I don't know, gaming coins, then you just buy an ETF and, and let it track, right? Of course, the best thing is just to buy the assets one-to-one, -one, but again, that takes um, self-custody and you have to, you know, track what is happening with every single uh, token. And sometimes there'll be a token that is not performing well, they'll take it out of an index, um, you know, or an ETF. So this could be the first step uh, into ETFs. It's not an ETF yet, but this could potentially bring stuff that maybe people would want in the future, right? Uh, currently, we don't have a product like that. We can't buy, you know, a meme coin index. We, we don't have that, you know, on exchanges. Can't do that in the crypto world yet. Maybe three, four, five years down the line, this will be the, you know, the, the, the uh, grand opening of that possibility. So very, very interesting uh, going forward. Now we did get news that Robinhood reported 26 billion uh, worth of cryptocurrency under their custody in the first quarter of 2024. So 26 billion uh, cryptocurrencies under their custody, meaning that you know the crypto market is huge for Robinhood. Uh, we saw their revenue at 126 million versus the consensus of 70 million. So 50 million more on this quarter, right? than what was expected now this is a great sign they made a lot of money also uh, their new uh, gold credit card which many people moved over because it's giving a lot of apy all uh, right <laughs> but that's also making them a lot of business listen retail forgot real fast what happened in 2021 right three years later and a lot of people have forgotten what robin has, has done to retail in uh, january of 2021 this is how it is people forget and people move on and people forgive right and we're seeing uh we're seeing robin hood uh recover here and they're, they're doing a good job business wise so uh it will be very interesting to see how this is going to affect you know they we, they had the whole issue with the wells notice uh and you know and, and that which i don't think was going to hurt their business i think the worst case scenario they would put a, a notice right that this we have assets that could be considered securities, right? Um, but I don't think that it would hurt their crypto business uh, that much. We also know that, you know, this first quarter had meme coins going bananas. So they have, of course, Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. So that brought in probably a lot of uh, revenue for them as well. So that's interesting. And I saw this come out uh, talking about the U.S. President Joe Biden administration says Biden would veto the legislation that would allow highly regulated financial firms to custody Bitcoin and crypto. Um, so this is kind of complicated. I have to admit, I tried to read through this and I do not understand totally this SAB 121. Um, I saw that that was a part of the hearings that were happening yesterday uh, and I tried to understand what does this mean if they do veto it from the comment section here it seems that people are taking this as he's anti-crypto um and this would you know prevent many banks from having the possibilities to partner with crypto and with uh bitcoin um it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting uh, to see. Uh, you can see here in the comments uh, community notes, someone wrote, this legislation would invalidate SAB 121, which circumvented APA rulemaking and would largely hinder banks' custody of crypto assets. Biden threatening to veto it hurts crypto adoption. Uh, Senator Loomis supports this bill being passed. Um, so we'll see what happens with this and the legislation. It's, it's not easy legislation. It's, uh, you know, some high level stuff that's going on there. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens. Some people are saying this is going to hurt his chances. I don't know if this is going to hurt his chances. There's a lot of other things, right? Uh, but we'll see, you know, both options. They're not, not great. They're not great at all. I think, I feel like it's, it's happened a lot around the world that the politicians are not great. Like, actual really good people high level people don't want to go and be politicians because you don't make a lot of money well you can make a lot of money potentially but you know you don't a very smart person can make a lot more money going and working uh you know for one of the uh top uh crypto you know top uh, um law firms or the top um 
technology you know companies or create their own companies and they're not going to be politicians and then at the end you get people that uh, you know <laughs> yes it's very frustrating i know i know i feel you guys uh, you can see here the the ads <laughs> um so it's going to be interesting to see what will happen here going forward uh for the crypto market will happen with shiba inu and with the rest of the crypto market don't forget to check out the links in the description down below subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell so you get uh notifications uh when new videos drop and if you didn't smash the like button yet remember wednesdays likes are for free so don't cheap out <laughs> it's free right uh and um Check out the links in the description down below. Of course, not financial advice, so do your own due diligence before deciding to invest. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.